From an investor standpoint, looking at this Mark Zuckerberg sit down uh, discussion interview yesterday, this report coming out of the UK, is it too little too late for Facebook in terms of how it's trying to spin the narrative at this point in time? I don't think so. I think we're actually in the early innings of him doing this. I think you're going to see the company doing a lot more of this over the next 12 to 18 months, and for good reason. I think, uh, the, to me, the two key takeaways from yesterday's interview um, with the professor were, one, just how complex this issue is, the fact that it's not really just a Facebook issue, it's an industry issue, and lastly, the fact that Ironically, there is a major, major role for regulators to play here, and in fact, Facebook is, in a way, asking for it. We've seen it through GP GDPR happening in Europe, and to us, the big surprise is six months into it, GDPR really has had no impact on user growth, has had no impact on user engagement, which goes to tell you that users don't mind necessarily what's going on but they're counting on the regulators to kind of keep everybody clean and the advertisers continue to vote with their dollars and based on uh, facebook's q4 results revenues were up 30 percent profits were up significantly so they continue to actually outperform expectations yeah and and henry i mean fake news was a topic of conversation uh in that sit down yesterday disinformation on the web is reportedly on the agenda for this meeting with a british official today it is a facebook issue it's also an industry issue just look at pinterest right barring vaccination searches and uh, looking at polluted content um in the last couple of of, of days you run a media company how do you regulate that and how do you do it without it becoming a slippery slope and, and a censorship issue? Very good question and it's one that Facebook has been trying for years to not have anything to do with. They want to be the phone company. Hey, we just build the platform. You do what you want with it. You're all good people. They build the most powerful media and communications platform in the history of the world and suddenly people are using it for their own ends and they're distributing propaganda and misinformation and I think Facebook's actual recent acknowledgement that they may want to start preventing some of the anti-vaccination propaganda that is being circulated is a good example of them just getting dragged, kicking and screaming into this. We have to regulate what's on the platform. They don't want to do it. Mark Zuckerberg is on his public humiliation tour right now. I think I agree with Yousef completely. It's going to take a long time, very hard to figure out how to regulate. But you, as a media company, understand how outrageous it would be if somebody used NBC or CNBC to distribute their own propaganda. It's ridiculous, unthinkable. We have huge media regulators. So now Facebook also needs to be regulated. The question is how? Yusuf, it seems like to me there are two Facebooks and, and to some extent we're only talking about this one negative one. And what I mean is on the one hand, they are the best when it comes to privacy in the sense that if I'm going to post something on the internet and I only want certain people to see it, Facebook is a great place for that. There are controls. I can control it very granularly. Wonderful. On the other hand, they're the worst when it comes to privacy in the sense of the information, misinformation that they let people target at mass populations. We're talking about the second Facebook right now. Do you think Mark Zuckerberg can turn the conversation around to that first Facebook this year? I think if you talk about it happening within the next 12 months, I don't think so. I think this is a very long-term project that Facebook and Google and Pinterest and you know, Amazon, as they become more of an a, a online advertising platform, need to address. What's interesting also out of the interview yesterday was how Facebook was talking about it being a privacy pioneer. And I think to your point, they really have been. The problem is when there is no regulation or when the regulation is relatively loose uh, in determining what should be done, what shouldn't be done, it, it, it really falls on you to kind of detect or, or, or establish these demarcation points. And so, you know, Facebook is a business. It's there to make money for its shareholders. And so ultimately, you know, they keep testing the limits every time, every once in a while, they step out of bound, they, be, they, they get called, they go on the public humiliation tour that Henry talked about. But again, the regulators need to step in the TV was regulated from the get-go. The radio was regulated from the get-go. I don't see why the Internet shouldn't be as well. Hey, Yusuf, uh, stocks lost about $12 from the post-earnings high. I wonder if we're in this dynamic now or in between. 
uh, quarterly earnings. We deal with uh, sort of reports and innuendo and regulatory uh, uh, white papers and so forth. Then they come out and, and wow us with metrics. Is that, the, is that what the year is going to be like? Unfortunately, I think you're exactly right. We don't really see any catalyst intra quarter. Unfortunately, and we wrote about this earlier this week, that there is a chance that we're going to hear from the FTC coming down with a uh, big fine. Uh, that would obviously be, in a way, a negative catalyst, but at the same time, it'll show that the regulators are putting their foot down, at least here in the U.S. We'll see what happens overseas. But yeah, I mean, the stock is probably, I mean, the stock has had a huge run post sprint that was based on muted expectations. So it gave a little back, which is very much to be expected. Uh, but we think at, you know, where it is right now, honestly, it continues to be screaming by, but not necessarily for short-term trading. I still think over the next uh, 12 to 18 months, the stock is materially higher. Henry, what do you make of some of these proposals that are coming out, like data dividends, which California's governor has suggested? I think that... It is extremely easy to talk in academic fashion about what Facebook should do and what should be done across the industry and all these different ideas. It's much harder to actually turn that into practical decisions that a business can execute on. I think in the interview yesterday with a Harvard professor, again, lots of highfalutin stuff. When you really think about, oh, the community policing all of this different stuff, what Mark himself has pointed out is what we have discovered as a society is that people want to believe certain things. So how are they going to police it? When it says, ah, this is the conspiracy theory that I believe, I want to share it with my friends. There's support of this. So all of this stuff is incredibly complicated. Facebook actually has the job of having to sort it out and say, OK, we have to make practical, executable business decisions. And the data dividend, to me, is one of those ideas that is just out there.